Hello students, welcome to Akash. I am Umesh Oila, your career counseling expert here at Akash. In this video, we are going to discuss about the process for the Puducherry Need Counseling and a unique tool to predict your AIR and the possible colleges you may be eligible for. Okay. Now, in this video, we are going to discuss on some important points such as seat matrix, cutoff analysis, means the 2024 trends, and the counseling process for the Puducherry Need Counseling. The official website is given here. Please have a look on it. A map is visible on your screen. If we talk about the MBBS colleges only, then there are total nine colleges with a seat capacity of 1,830, in which two are the government medical college with a seat capacity of 380, and remaining seven are the private medical colleges with a seat capacity of 1,450. For the BDS, there are total four colleges with a seat capacity of 410, in which one is the government dental college with a seat capacity of 110 and the remaining three are the private dental colleges with the seat capacity of 300 okay now please have a look on the college list in which the college name the college type and the intake is also provided noted now the government mbbs college cutoff for the 2024 please take a screenshot for this because this is a refined cutoff for the specific category and specific quota also now, please have a look on private MBBS college cutoff for the 2024. Means these are the highest cutoff in the 2024 on which any private or any government institutes to allow the admission. These cutoff are from the round 4, means the three vacancy round, the last round of the counseling. And these cutoff will give you a roughly idea that where your AIR might lie. Means you are coming under the government college bracket or you are coming under the private college bracket. Okay, guys, got it? Now, the Puducherry Medical Counseling. Basically, there are four types of colleges that are the, or four types of institutions are present in any state. The first one is Central Government Medical College, second, deemed universities, third, state government medical colleges, and fourth, state private medical college. Central Government Medical Colleges means, for an example, Ames, Jipmer, and the Central Universities. Deemed Universities are the fully private universities, and counseling for these two type of institutions will be conducted by the MCC only. State Government Colleges and the private medical colleges, the counseling for these two type of institutions will be conducted by the state specific counseling authority. Okay, now the Government Medical Colleges in Puducherry State, please skip. Jipmer from this because Jipmer is a central government medical college. Okay, and counseling for the Jipmer is conducted by the MCC only. Then, then all the government colleges except from the Jipmer, the UT quota 85% and AIQ quota 15% means these 85% seats are reserved for the students of Puducherry UT only and Counseling for these 85% seats will be conducted by the Puducherry Medical Counseling Committee. And remaining 15% seats are under MCC AIQ quota. Means that counseling for these 85% seats will be conducted by MCC. And these seats are open for all the students. Got it? The counseling for 100% seats of the private medical college will be conducted by the Puducherry state and these 100% seats are open for all the students because Puducherry is an open UT. What is open and closed? We will discuss it later. Okay. Now, let's talk about fee structure. For the government medical colleges, you have to pay 1 lakh to 1.5 lakh rupees per annum and for the private medical college, you have to pay 3.5 lakh to 20 lakh per annum approx. For the exact fee and exact the seat distribution, we have to wait for the counseling prospectus of the Puducherry state. Got it, guys? Now, what process, what step to be followed to complete the counseling process of the Puducherry? Online registration means you have to complete your online registration on the given website. After that, the declaration of merit list will take place. You have to check your name there. If it's there, then you have to complete your online choice filling for the round one. After that, again, a list will be published, which is known as the allotment list. You have to check your name there. If it's there, then you have to report at the allotted institute or the college with your tuition fee, with your applicable bonds and the original documents because at the time of counseling, at the time of reporting, the photocopies of the documents are not allowed. Got it? The eligibility, as I say, open state means open UT. 
means any outsider student can take admission in the private colleges of the puducherry ut under the management quota okay that's called open ut or state but if any outside student cannot be eligible to take admission in the private college under the management quota then the state is closed okay to claim 85% seats in the gmcs and to claim state quota in the private medical colleges who are eligible for this only permanent residence certificate holder of the puducherry are eligible to avail 85% state quota reservation and the state quota in the private medical colleges okay means these 85% seats are totally reserved for the local student of puducherry i am belong to delhi if i want to take admission under these 85% seat then i am not eligible for this okay which documents are required at the time of allotment or at time of counseling your academic eligibility mark sheet means your 10th and 12th mark sheet your neat ug mark sheet and admit card your domicile certificate if applicable your caste certificate if applicable your pwd certificate if applicable passport size photograph you need 8 to 10 photograph here government id proof for an example aadhar card voter id card or the driving license minority certificate if applicable got it noted okay now which scholarship is present in the puducherry state the scholarship name is the post matrix scholarship scheme and the conditions are given as follows for an example must be citizen of india and belong to the ut of puducherry either by birth or domicile or the continuous residence not less than 5 year the second condition is students studying in 11th and 12th standard and have secured promotion to the next higher class with 60% and 50% marks in 10th and 11th standard and the last condition any category student with annual family income of 75000 and below to know more about the scholarship you can visit the given website here got it guys then let's talk about the bond policies then in puducherry state only discontinuation bond is applicable there is no any service bond what is service bond after completion of your degree you have to provide your services to the state for the specific time period and if you don't comply with it then you have to pay a penalty amount which is known as the service bond then what is discontinuation bond if you withdraw your admission after the batch announcement then you have to penalty amount which is known as the discontinuation bond service bond is applicable only in the government colleges where the discontinuation bond is applicable in both the government and the private colleges also okay so there is a discontinuation bond applicable in puducherry state if you withdraw your admission after the batch announcement then you have to pay 4 lakh rupees to the government and the private institute okay so be careful for this to predict your air and the possible colleges you may be eligible for you can use our neat ug rank and college predictor it's work with just your neat score the link is provided in the description box also and you can find it on our akash.ac.in our official website thank you so much for watching and all the best for your future journey